Hi, my name is Jenny Hong and I'm a radiologist at Duke University and also the principal investigator on the ACR Tyrad Thyroid Ultrasound Registry. This is a talk that will walk you through the structured reporting template designed for ACR Tyrads and this is specifically for the radiologists who are participating in the registry study. In this talk, we'll go through some tips and rules for reporting with the structured reporting template. And then I'll show you the workflow for the study, which explains why following the rules is important. I'll then go through sections of the structured reporting template for diagnostic thyroid ultrasound and also ultrasound guided biopsy. Now I've got this cheesy picture here because I want to emphasize that we're all working as a team. We're trying to answer some key questions about ACR tyroids and other risk stratification systems and how these answers may help patients in the future. So in order for the results for your institution to be valid, we need to be following some of these rules so we can get the best results possible. So some tips. There is a separate talk about an approach to thyroid nodules and I'd have to emphasize again the key thing is you don't need to score and report every nodule that could take a very long time just become familiar with the nodules that you can dismiss and describe the four most suspicious nodules so check out that video if you haven't already after that the rules are pretty simple don't change the field names only use the pick list options give sizes in centimeters if you need to add additional text, that's fine. Do it outside the brackets. And don't rearrange the sequence of the report that your institution has agreed upon. Now, the reason for these rules is because 95% of the data that we will need in the study will be extracted in an automated fashion from your radiology reports. That's right. An ACR server and software uh, called Triad is going to read the radiology reports and extract the data and send that to the ACR. Therefore, to help the server read your data, the field names have to be the same and the options for answers have to be the same. First, let's take a look at thyroid ultrasound. The report starts off with clinical information. Uh, this is the reason the patient had the ultrasound uh, and this is a pick list option so this is going to be much shorter. Uh, next we've got risk factors, prior ultrasound and a general size and texture of the thyroid. This white font is optional but it does make a complete radiology report. It's a yellow font that is really important for the study. The last part of this early section are three lines on nodule numbers. The first line is estimated number of nodules measuring a centimeter or greater. You can count up to five and then after that I don't need you to count them, just give ranges. And this is uh, for all nodules whether you've reported it in detail below or haven't. So nodules a centimeter or greater of any composition. Next line is the number of spongiform nodules that are two centimeters or greater but not described below in any detail. These are Tyrad 1 nodules and would otherwise not be recommended for biopsy, but some other risk stratification systems do recommend biopsy at 2 centimeters or greater. If you, we didn't report the number of these nodules, we'd be underestimating the reduction in nodule biopsies with ACR Tyrads. Same thing for the third line here below. It's a number of mixed cystic and solid nodules measuring 1.5 centimeters or greater, not described below. These are Tyrads 2 nodules, otherwise not recommended for biopsy or follow-up, but other risk stratification systems do recommend biopsy. So here, don't need to describe them in detail, but just give the number that are more than 1.5 centimeters or 1.5 centimeters. Now the next section looks incredibly busy, but just remember that after you've chosen an option in the pick list, the text decreases significantly. So we're going to start off with the nodule number and that's um, if there are four nodules then it's going to be numbered one, two, three and four. We're going to give uh, sizes in three dimensions and then uh, location, that's a pick list whether it's right, left or isthmus and then pick list whether it's upper, mid or lower and then anything else you want to describe. The next section is on 
the features of the nodule. And as I said, these are pick lists. But with each of these uh, pick lists, I've actually given the points for this feature in the parenthesis. So you can actually add up all these points after you've made your pick list choices to give you the total points. For composition, echogenicity, shape and margins, you only choose one. For echogenic foci, there may be more than one option. There, for instance, there could be macro clustifications as well as punctate echogenic foci. Choose the most suspicious first and then copy and place the bracket afterwards for the macro calcification. After that, you add up the points for your TIRAD score and then you choose your TIRAD's risk category from one to five. And the legend for this is at the end of the report and I'll show you that soon. If the patient has had a prior ultrasound or biopsy, then you need this section describing any change. If they haven't had this uh, before, then you just delete it. Then after that, in the impression for all of the nodules, uh, I recommend putting the recommendation at the end. So if it's more than two nodules, you're going to pick nodule one first. You're going to give the ACR level and then the recommendation. Uh, the recommendations um, you can see here in white font below. Um, you can delete this if you don't want it in your report, if you feel, think it makes your report too long. And then if, there are more than, if there's more than one nodule, then you just copy and paste this again and label it nodule number two. Next for ultrasound guided thyroid biopsy, uh, first of all it starts off with a consent statement based on your science and then in the yellow font again is what is important. So uh, first off, the first nodule that you're going to biopsy, um, it should be, you should uh, state the reference number based on the prior diagnostic ultrasound. So if you recommended biopsy of nodule one and two on the previous ultrasound report, and they only chose nodule 2 for biopsy, then here your reference number would be nodule 2. If they've not had a prior ultrasound with your institution, then you say it's an outside diagnostic ultrasound. If they are biopsying a nodule that you didn't recommend for biopsy previously and label as 1, 2, and 3, you choose other. We only want the maximum size. Uh, the location is the same as the diagnostic ultrasound report. And same for tyroid score. Uh, points and also risk category, just same as your previous ultrasound. If it hasn't been characterized before on a diagnostic ultrasound, then quickly do the calculation um, while you've obtained the images. Uh, the next section is uh, if there's been a prior biopsy and the, re the cytology result, if you know it. And then uh, this is important, reason for biopsy. It can meet ACR Tyrod's criteria meets other recommendations, that's ATA, SIU, or other versions of TIRADS, uh, that it was indeterminate or non-diagnostic on a prior biopsy, that the patient had risk factors, or that the patient or referral wanted it for some other reason. And then after that, uh, there are some optional fields for the method of biopsy, the complications, and then the impression. So that's it. In conclusion, I've taken you through the structured reporting templates for this thyroid ultrasound registry. I would have to emphasize again that we're working as a team, uh, that you need to follow the templates so the results from your institution and the results for this study as a whole will be valid. Uh, you need to use the pick list options, report size in centimeters, and don't change any of the field names or rearrange the order of the report. You don't need to report all thyroid nodules. There's a video on how to approach this, but you may need to count some nodules that you don't report in detail, and these are the spongiform nodules and the mixed solid cystic nodules. There are more resources available on ACR tyroids on the ACR website. Uh, these include the publications, a atlas, uh, a copy of the structured reporting templates, and also a sonographer's worksheet. Thanks for your time. I'll see you next time. Bye.